Hello there, I am John Crow with more Pokemon Leaf Green video. In the last part we started our adventures chose Bulbasaur as our um as our starter of course. Um we also went to um Pet Viridian City and got Oak's parcel from the Mart, delivered to him and he gave us a Pokedex and five Pokeballs. And now we're actually gonna catch a new uh, team member in this part, and this is the new team member. Yeah, I haven't used the Pidgey uh um, at all in any of my playthroughs for the ones that I've been putting on my channel like Fire Red or Leaf Green the original Leaf Green uh, walk the guide. So I'm gonna use a Pidgey. I always liked Pidgey even more than Sparrow even though I know kinda know now that Sparrow has a lot more attack stat than Pidgey and whatnot better stats but I still like Pidgey a lot. So I'm gonna try and catch this thing so let's do tackle it I guess. It's level 3 so that's pretty cool. To use tackle back. I think Pidgey is in, in this t in in this route just only no tackle it doesn't even know send attack to level five so yeah and just um let's use the leech seed on it just to get a little bit more hp out of it because i'm thinking the tackle might faint it so and we don't want that so let's see uh, and you know bulbasaur green giant green gets some um, some hp back too let's use growl on it i guess towards attack i'm just trying to make sure it's always near the red more like hp wise so I can catch this thing. Even though this thing has a high catch rate. Okay, I'm bugging into the Pokeball now. So, that's good. I want a Pokeball. Hopefully we can get on this first Pokeball. Let's do it. One. Two. Three. And poof. Okay, good. Cool. Nice. Yay, Pidgey was caught. Pidgey did as well. The Pokedex. Cool. It's number 16 in the Pokedex. It's Pidgey, of course. It's a tiny Pokemon. I think they mean like tiny bird Pokemon. Uh, it's, it, it's height is one foot. It weighs four pounds. It's um footprints just like the little claw thing, but it looks like a V or like a, a heart that's missing the top part of it, I guess you could say. I don't know. It comes in sight in forests and woods. Uh, it flaps its wings at ground level to kick up uh, blinding sand. That's interesting. I lo would love to give anything to this um, Pidgey. I'm actually naming this Pidgey Airbender. Cause I liked Avatar The Last Airbender, it was really cool and then I, I really couldn't, I think this is like one of the better names that I've come up with for a nickname. It might not be that cool but I think it's cool. Let's just name it Airbender, yeah. There we go. Nice, okay let's, let's look at Airbender stats. And, I mean summary and stats of course, okay. Rash Nature met everyone in level 3. Its attack is 8, its defense is 8, its special attack is 8. Uh, 7 I mean, sorry. Special attack is 7. Special defense is 6 and speed is 8. So that's pretty cool. It has keen eye for its ability which protects loss of accuracy. So like if you use synth attack on this thing it won't work. Because that's like low in accuracy. It prevents that because it's ability keen eye. And I'm going to tackle so yeah. Let's it's so to the front though. Nice. I, think, I mean we still have the running shoes. Like I hold down B but like I remember I don't have the running shoes yet. Well, let's talk to you real quick, just because you're in the grass. Okay, some of these ledges along see these ledge ledges along the road. It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Palatine quicker, quicker that way. Yeah, we, I just I, I did that in the last part. As you saw right there, I, I edited out the wild Pokemon battle because from here on out, if it's an, if it, only if it's a Pokemon I want to catch, I'll show it. But if it's like a random encounter, like that was just a rat, uh, uh, I'll just cut it out to um, save time, I guess. You know. It was just a rat. Uh, we I I switch I uh, switched over to a uh, giant green because Airbender was out on the first slot, so he she, he was sent out first. So um I just switched over to uh, giant green and he finished the rat and got 12 experience, and then uh, Airbender got also 12 experience because they split the experience because they switched out and they split the experience between the two Pokemon actually. So yeah, they, uh, this is the Pokemon Center by the way, um, thanks for waiting, um, you've restored your Pokemon default, just talk to the nurse, and uh, she'll say, we hope to see you again, and she'll say, can I take him, can I see him on Pokemon for a minute, if you say yes to your your Pokemon, so that's pretty cool, it's free, and you know, it's really nice to have that, it's a good, Pokemon Centers are so uh, convenient sometimes, you know, well, I don't think they're ever not convenient to be honest, Okay, so it's over here. If you go all the way here, you can get potions. That's pretty cool. Nice. And it's, I should go back to the mine and actually buy some stuff, actually, now that I think about it. 
I think in the original Red Bull and Yellow, that um, you have, you have to click a, you have to click the uh, press the A button on the tree that was able to be cut down, which you know, obviously we don't have to cut yet. But um, there was a, there was like a hidden in the tree, and you had to, it was like an item ball in front of it, like in Pokemon Fire Leaf Green. So let's buy. Let's see here. I don't think I need. Oh, let's buy two more Pokeballs, I guess. Why not? Um, potion. Let's buy. Let's buy two more, I guess. Antidotes let's buy three because they're cheap. They're only three. Oh, they're only hundred dollars each. Hundred Poke dollars each. So it's pretty cool. And the pearls heals. Let's buy two. Yeah, there we go. We should be good with that. Also, I should drop the bag actually. And then my training card actor too. So you get six Pokeballs in the Pokeballs pocket. Um, we got the town map in the key arms pocket. We got items for just the items pocket. It's, we got five potions, three antidotes, and two pearl seals. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, let's show off the training card too. This is what the training card looks like. As you collect more badges, there's eight in this game. There'll be a little badge there signifying that you beat that gym. And it shows you the money, your play time, which is 23 minutes for me. Pokedex, how many Pokemon you've caught. And then if you evolve a Pokemon, it counts as like a new Pokemon you have, so like that counts for evolution, so keep that in mind. And then I have two right now, of course, money, 1,380 Poké Dollars, and name Steven, of course. And then your ID number, which I don't really think is all that important in this game. Because I know in Red, like in second generation, like Gold, Silver, and Crystal, and then Hard, Gold, Silver, so you could like use your, um, it may have been your... ID numbers for your Pokemon or something, but to get like a Master Ball if your um, numbers match, you know. I'm pretty sure that's what you got. Here's um routes. I forget. I didn't read the route as I was going on screen. Okay, let's try that again. It's Route 22. We skipped through a lot of the game, guys. Well, actually, there's like a dead end because you need badges to get through the uh, Queens to the Pokemon League, which we haven't even got close to yet. We don't have our first gym badge even yet. Ah oh, man. Okay, I actually had to run away from that Spearow. I actually don't want to be on this part of the route right now, to be honest. Um, so uh, let's actually go back to Viridian City and actually train on the first route. Cause that, that Spiro was level five in a new pack, and it was like it did like two packs on my Bulbasaur green, giant green. So like, it's, yeah, that's not good. Okay, so let's see. Um, oh yeah, he already has coffee. Never mind. We didn't really explain that in the last part. He was like lying down in the middle of the road before you go um, get your Pokedex, I believe. And he's like, this is private property, leave. Yeah, I haven't had my coffee yet. So yeah, let's get back to the Pokemon Center and heal. Welcome to our Pokemon Center to kill your Pokemon back to full health. Yes, okay, you have to keep Pokemon for a few seconds. Okay. So, basically, I want to do a little training session, or grinding, I guess you could say, right now. So I want to give, I want to get Airbender and Giant Green both up to level 10. And then we'll get to take on a second rival battle, which is actually optional. You don't have to do the second rival battle that I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to be um, just grinding um, real quick, real quick, there we go, not real quick, but um, I'll be grinding real quickly and then I'll see you guys back here in a second, so let me, I'll me see you guys in a little bit, I guess. Okay, so I'm back, um, let me just show off the team, I guess. Green Giant is in level uh, 10, and at level 10 he learned um, Vine Whip, which is pretty cool. And then also Airbender is now level uh, 10 and he learned Gust at level 9, so that's pretty cool. So we actually switch the two. Now we're gonna take on the second rival battle, which is again optional, you don't have to do this fight. But I wanted to do it just for the experience. I just wanted to grind there because, you know, he'll have a Pokemon, his starter that's gonna be level 9, and he's gonna have also a Pidgey that's level 9. So, you know, you want, I wanna be prepared for this battle, you know, I don't wanna lose it. And let's go over, I thought there was a berry up there, but I guess not. No dark spots there, so whatever. <laughs> okay, hey Steven, you're off to the Pokemon League. Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guy won't let you through without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Of course it did. I just uh, trained them, you know, I did a little training session. So yeah. Rival Matt would like the battle. Sent out, uh, Rival Matt sent out Pidgey. So yeah. Pidgey versus Pidgey. Now what I like to do with the moves is if you press select for my case Z on the game controller, but um if you press select, you can switch the items or switch the moves and stuff, but um because I like having like the longest ones in the top left corner and then the like the shortest uh text wise, you know, with letters and everything. And then the shortest one the shortest move 
with the least amount of letters in the bottom right corner. I don't know how I, why I like doing this, I just like the way it looks, I guess. So I just have to remember to always press down on it and um, to go to tackle or gust or go to the right one with gust, you know. I'll use gust though. But um, I'm actually used to this, I don't really miss quick really that much because I'm used to all this. Ah, oh, critical hit of course. So yeah. So he has a Pidgey level 9, I, my Pidgey's level 10, and nicknamed Airbender. <laughs> Let's use one more gust, one more gust should take it out. Okay, so, um, yeah. It's, this Pidgey does know gust because it's level 9 though, so keep that in mind. Yeah, 105 experience, yay. That's almost, that's like half a level up right there, nice. So I'm about to send a Charmander, I'm gonna keep Airbender in. Because I'm going to try to paint the Charmander with um, Airbender. So if you chose Bulbasaur like me, he will have a Charmander. If you chose Charmander like him, your rival will actually have a Squirtle. And if you chose Squirtle, your rival will have a Bulbasaur like me. So like the type advantage, basically. So let's use... Gust. Yeah. Oh, critical hit. Nice. Can going to use Scratch. I was afraid I was going to use Ember, but... You know, I'm kind of lucking out, I guess. And, yeah, Airbender still survives with 2 HP, which is awesome. This should knock it out. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Airbender again. 124 experience. Nice. It's awesome. Now, Airbender's level 11. Yay. Yeah, I think he wins, um, Quick Attack at level 13, which is pretty cool. Yep, we defeated Matt. Oh, you just lucked out. We got $144. Pocket always for winning. Yay. I heard, I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You usually quit waddling and get a move on. I just won the battle we just had. So, like, you don't have... You can't speak, you know, like... You don't have... You can't insult... That was just a manky, so it was easy to take out with Gus. Just Gust. I almost said Gus. <laughs> so now I'm rooting to I'm gonna heal up at the Pokemon Center. Okay, so now we can move on. Let's go north of Viridian City. Now let's just talk to you. Well, now I have my coffee and that's what I need to get going. Hmm, I, I may have misread that actually. Hmm, what is that red box you have? Ah, I see, working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates, updates its data. You don't have to catch, you don't know how to catch a Pokemon. A Pokemon I should, I suppose I better show you then. Yeah, um, I just caught a Pokemon in this part, actually, so, uh, I actually do not catch a Pokemon, but you're just gonna show me anyway, aren't you? Because this is a basic tutorial on how to catch a Pokemon. You throw the Pokeball at the Weedle. I should weaken it down, but I don't think he has any Pokemon. So he just throws a Pokeball at it, hoping that it won't attack him if it escapes that Pokeball. Yeah, we, we Weedle is caught, yay. Nice. There, now let me tell you, that was educational, wasn't that? Oh, and and here, take this too. We got the Tichi TV. Hey, put the Tichi TV in the camera's pocket. If, you, if there's something you don't understand, watch that. I, it will take, it will teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to show that off just real quick. Just in case you guys, for the two of you that are um, wondering what the Tichi TV looks like. Yeah, here it is. Teach me how to catch, teach me how to battle, what are stats problems, what are, are type matchups. I want to catch a Pokemon. Okay, let's just do what are type matchups, for example. Tichi TV, nice. Yeah. Hey, all you Pokemon trainers out there. Hello, trainers. Yeah, I'm not going to watch the whole thing. I just want to point that out, what it looks like. Okay, here's the first gym. Let's take it on. Why not? Okay, the gym waiter is... This gym is always, this Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the gym leader is. Viridian City Pokemon gym. Oh man, it's, it's probably locked and stuff. Jeez. Okay, whatever. Let's head up north to Route 2. And we can actually close to our first dungeon in the game, actually. So that's pretty cool. What I like to do is go to this path and just so I can avoid the tall grass, really. Because I don't really want to do a Pokemon battle or anything, really. Yeah. But, uh. Yeah, let's go into Viridian Forest. Although I'm gonna end the part right here. So yeah, so this has been that of my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walk the Guy part. Next part will take on the whole Viridian Forest. 
and hopefully make it to Peter City where our first gym battle is. So yeah, so this has been Giant Girl again. I would like to thank you for your game. Goodbye, and I hope to see you guys next time on Pokemon Leaf Green. We do walk through guide.